It's time for EdTech Mondays, brought to you by Mastercard Foundation and CC Hub. Welcome to another episode of the Mastercard Foundation EdTech Mondays Nigeria. On special awareness days like the International Day of the Girl Child or the Boy Child, technology should be used to promote gender positivity in schools and in the media. If we do not catch them young, we will continue to have the same disparities from generation to generation. Thank you so much, Mr. Emeka, for that wonderful submission. So to you, our listeners, what are your thoughts on the potential gender-based challenges that learners face? How might technology improve the learning experiences of both boys and girls? would love to hear from you send us an sms or a whatsapp message to 0703-165-0809 we kicked off the conversations on this topic with abigail anazamak who is the program's associate at the education practice of co-creation hub africa she spoke about some gender-based factors which edtech innovators school leaders and teachers should take into consideration while building or using technology-backed solution. Let's listen to what she had to share about this bit. One way that um, technology can also help to address that is the gender roles that are being portrayed in our stories, in our technology-backed learning applications, can also show more women doing, like, Technology can be used to change gender narratives around gender roles. That like a man was always do this and a woman was always do this. So as children are reading those stories, even from infancy, from um, preschool education, they can already see ah, a woman is the one doing the engineering thing in this story and a man is doing something else. And that's also to make people see that, to make boys see that being a man is not always about having veto power. It's not always about going the extra mile and doing beyond yourself. We need to make boys, technology can be leveraged to make boys see positive masculinity and girls to see female leadership and social emotional learning takes a huge role in this. When we engage blessed Hamed Musa, who is the programs manager at Women Technology Empowerment Center, we learned about the different technology-backed initiatives which WTEC executes to amplify gender transformative education and to empower more women. Gender transformative education um, is an opportunity to eliminate societal ills around gender biases and also things that cause unequal access to opportunities you know, due to gender issues through um, using education as a tool. So it covers either the trainings, advocacies, or whatever that has to do with education. So gender transformative education is broad and it's, it goes beyond um, just the curriculum and the policies. Mm. It also has to do with you know, the trainings that are given you know, to um, people to help curtail and eliminate um, societal issues. We use technology in different ways. So either through um, hands-on training or digital skills. And we also try to push um, digital skills training. So um, I think basically technology is actually um, a great leveler and also you know, helps to offset you know, that balance. Finally, we concluded the conversations by speaking to BC Ajayi Kayode, the CEO of Sisiara Foundation, who highlighted different gender-based challenges learners could be exposed to on digital learning platforms and ways these challenges can be curbed or addressed. I particularly enjoyed this conversation. You should listen to this. Number one, access barrier controls. Mm. Access barrier controls for children. Because um, we had, there are many vices online, cyber bullying, cyber stalking, doxing, when somebody publishes your personal information, sex stations, you know, um, radicalization, and all that. So when you have the access barrier controls, biometrics, data, um, there are apps that we do, okay, maybe when the children are online, the parents will have it on their phone, you it in written and that, mm. that your child, your child or somebody is trying 
and all these games and all this animation. animation. And for those building, there should be a designated community agency starting with the responsibility of online protection of children and not the telecos or the service providers. They should come into agreement that once you see the publication or projection on your website or on your, on your platform that is harmful to children, then you report at that very point in time. During our awareness prevention training programs, we, we push out trainings on what is called digital empathy. Because oftentimes the child may be honestly browsing, maybe um, for their own work, you do research work, a pornographic site drops in or a terrorist website, and the child is intimidated and afraid to tell the parents or the caregivers. So we need to train parents and teachers and caregivers alike how to respond responsibly and how to be up to date with digital innovations. Thank you so much to our amazing guests for joining us on the show and sharing valuable insights and experiences that have shaped our thoughts and our conversations on the way technology can promote gender-based education. We have more comments from listeners like you. Let's hear what Olumide from Ibadan had to say. Olumide says, I really love the perspectives on gender transformative education. I have not thought about it in this light. Dockers from Ibado as well had this to say. We cannot talk about the importance of gender transformative education enough. Thank you for engaging us. And to you, our listeners, the conversations do not end here. We would love to hear from you. What technology-related gender-based threats should teachers parents and guardians, and also ed tech developers pay attention to. Are there any particular challenges or situations that you feel boys and girls, men and women might be more exposed to by the use of technology-based education tools and resources? We'd love to hear from you. Send us an SMS or a WhatsApp message to 0703 one six five zero eight zero nine also are you curious to know where the conversation continues after we've left your airways look no further the conversation continues on our very vibrant whatsapp and telegram channels simply search edtech mondays nigeria and you can join the community and if you know anyone who has missed any of the conversations this month or you simply want to go back to relieve the wonderful conversations we had here hurry to spotify at tech mondays nigeria or look for us on youtube at cc hub africa to continue the conversations and to relieve the conversations we had here with you thank you for being a part of this month's episode of the Ed Tech Mondays Nigeria show. I remain your host, Chinyelu Akpa. Stay curious, stay connected, and continue pushing the barriers of education using technology. It's bye for now. Ed Tech Monday is proudly brought to you by MasterCard Foundation and CC Hub.